<laughs> but we have to get to our guest for this evening. Um, you guys have seen him on the extremely popular show, Ready to Love, on OWN Network, uh, where singles are on one resort. They all come together in an effort to find the person that they would essentially love to be in a relationship with or even marry. Um, and this guy became an immediate fan favorite. Everyone was here for Rashid. They were cheering him on. Um, not only was he a cool guy, but they essentially, you know, he talked about a few people's heartstrings. So we invited him onto the show. We wanted to get his thoughts, his feelings, and essentially ask the question that a lot of women were hitting me up about, is he single? So welcome to the show. And Mr. Rashid himself. Hi, hey, honey. What's going on, ladies? How y'all doing? We're good. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Just I'm good. Okay. Trying, uh, so you know, we relax a long day today, but I'm um, I'm here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get into it. So uh the ladies need to know, Rashid, are you single, honey? <laughs> yes, yes, I am single. I am single. Okay. Okay, so so let, let's talk. Let's talk. Okay, um, let's do it. When we last saw you, we were watching the uh, final episode of the reunion. Uh, we were watching you on the couch. You had essentially let everyone know that you know you were feeling you know Adrian. She she was your person. Um, and then things just kind of took a turn where she started to feel Calfani a little bit more, but yet she still wanted you to essentially chase her. Um, and you did the grown man thing. You're like, look, I will, you know, court you, but I am not going to chase you, which I thought was a phenomenal way to let someone know, like, look, we're, we're not doing this. I've put my heart out there. I let you know that I'm interested, but I'm not going to make a fool of myself. Um, and then we eventually see that she and Calfani are no longer together um, because he decided to go back to his, um, to his, uh, uh, the mother of his children and some people kind of felt like that was her karma. Do you feel that way? As far as that being her karma? Mm -hmm. No, I, I don't, I don't. Because I think, um, like I was telling her when we talked, I said, hey, go with your heart. You know, and it, like I said, everybody saw, and I expressed to her that I, I saw too where she was leaning. And then, you know, love and, and relationships is difficult. We, we don't always guess right, or we don't always choose right. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm the type of person, I was trying to tell her, like, be okay with your decision. You know, don't worry about others. Don't worry about me. You know, be okay with your decision. So if that's the decision you make, then be okay with the results. You know what I'm saying? So um, for me to say that that was karma, I'm, I'm nowhere near that that ordained or that powerful to know if that was karma or not. Um, but uh, I don't think so. No, by my own personal belief, I don't think so. Um, that was something beyond her control. She did what she um, felt. Um, she went with her heart and like I told her and advised her to do. And after that, you know, the universe is, is the, you know, um, the, the answer to the end of that. But um, she did what she's supposed to do. Um, and, you know, she didn't create, she had no, she, she knew nothing about this other uh, lady, but I don't think, mm -hmm. You know, um, and I don't want to speak out of turn for Kelfani, but I don't think that she was the mother of his children. I think this was a, a, a girlfriend from the past that had great relationship with his. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong, but I don't think it was a, the child's mother. But I don't know. Did you feel like you essentially put your eggs in one basket? Um, no, I, I don't. Um, now I, I do. Um, I did zero in and lock in on her. Like I said, you know, like when I'm feeling like I, I lock in, I'm, I'm a very controlled mm -hmm. person. Like if, if I, if I see something I want, I go after it and then I can, I'm able to focus and, and compartmentalize um, what I want uh, with still other things going around. At the same time, I was dating Simone. I was dating Alex. You guys didn't see that till later on. Right. And, you know, you know, just watching the show, when we're watching it with you guys, we don't know how they're going to edit it, what they're going to show when, if they're going to move some things around. So as I'm watching it with you guys at home, I'm like, man, when are you going to show me like having some interest in some other, because I'm looking like just walking around like a puppy dog, nose wide open. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people were seeing that. Um, but, you know, eventually, you know, they, they showed my other connections. Um, but I did have her consistently at number one because, mm -hmm. um, you know, that's just how, that's just how I move. 
did you think, because, I mean, we did see that you were really serious. I mean, we did know that you came out of, you know, a uh, marriage and you essentially let people know, like, I'm here to find love. Did you feel like some people were just on there just to boost their internet fame? Or did you think that everyone essentially was looking for love, but they just couldn't find it? Um, you know what? I think when you get to a certain level in life as far as experiences, and we're all, you know, um, we're all like educated, you know, um, adults, you know, we're in the world. We're, you know, we've got, we've got issues. You know, we got, we got mortgages and 401ks and, and you know what I'm saying? And insurance we got to pay for. I don't think, you know, uh, at this point, I think we've kind of done our, our playing. Um, I'd like to think. So I think everybody came on there for genuine reasons. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously there's some element, you know, you're going to be on TV. So let's not, let's call a spade a spade. We all know that, um, all of us, including myself knew that, it could be a possible um, opportunity to um, have some some light on us that wouldn't normally be there. Right. But I can't necessarily speak for others. I know I came on there for the right reasons. And I want to take you back off of that because you are a fan favorite. So we've seen you in the media and all the different types of shows. And I heard you mention that your grandfather was a major influence for you yeah. and also the relationship that he had with your grandmother. So do you feel that that influence and growing up and seeing that type of love helps you keep love in a different standard than maybe some other people see it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I saw that and th I'm telling you, that was my role model. Um, and I just saw how he honored my grandmother and he had three daughters, my mom, including my two aunts. Um, so, I mean, you know, they didn't want for anything. And he was, uh, he was always, you know, a kind, gentle, uh, you know, giant. And, um, and, you know, I just, that just resonated with me as a child and I always saw that. And then, Fast forward to that, um, I saw that marriage for, who knows, I don't even remember, 50 plus years, right? And um, my parents were not so fortunate. And um, as growing up, when I started really getting serious about dating, um, I always it was always up to me to try to break the cycle, you know, of divorce, break that mm -hmm. chain, break the cycle of divorce in, uh, in my family. Um, unfortunately, I fell a little bit short. I wasn't able to do that, but I'm still in, very intentional with um, matters of the heart and what, you know, and, and being serious and, and doing it and going about it the right way. Do you feel in any way that, I wouldn't say the show was a waste of time, but do you feel like maybe you were just kind of better off just finding love on your own terms? Um, no, I wouldn't say that because I, I did, um, it did take some of the, the work out of it because, you know, in own, you know, in my mind before going down there, I was like, okay, they, they kind of asked us what we like, you know, um, physically and, and mentally and what we like in women. And, you know, they're kind of trying to do their best to pair us up. And then, you know, um, I, I know people feel certain type of ways about all the characters on the show, but, you know, we went through a pretty um, intense uh process you know we had to take a, a a background check psych evaluations all kind of stuff so i'm like okay so y'all doing the vetting for me and y'all gonna have nine ten women for me to choose from all in one place and they're all raising their hands saying that um that they're ready for a relationship so that's what excited me about it so i don't i don't feel like i wasted my time i met some some great friends and i'll have some you know life lasting relationships and friendships with uh with those people on that on that cast and I see that you and Chris are still essentially um, friends because he's also modeling a lot of your clothes for you, correct? Yeah, yeah. Chris, Chris is Chris. Like, so I'm I'm cool with everybody on the show, but um, when I was I was wearing some of my 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 clothing on the show, right? Because we got the release. I almost didn't bring my clothes because, um, you know, in the in the email they said, you know, you can't wear any brands or anything like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. I said, like, you know what, let me just bring some. This is my brand. So if I have to sign off or anything. And so they did. And then I wore one. And it's crazy. Three people recognized it and didn't know it was me behind the brand. Because I've been doing, I haven't known my brand since 09. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, so it was Edwin, Nye, and Chris. It's like, what? That's you? I remember those shirts. Um, that, so they was really like mad. They showed mad love. It's like, yo, when we get back, bro, I'm buying whatever you want to do. This and the third. So then I want to do kind of a, a refresh and do some some fresh uh, model shoots. And Chris is the perfect size, you know, that European built model size, you know, and he likes showing up his abs and his fuchsia suits and stuff. So I'm like, yo, it's perfect. <laughs> and um, and a lot of times I've always kind of modeled the, the pictures and stuff like that. I said, man, let me step back. And, and, and Chris was always rocking with me. 
Um, so he did it. And uh, but now uh, I got a now I got other uh my other castmates like man why you holler at me I want to do something. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to get some other people to um to model for me. Dope, dope. Now when it comes to the show, um, and just you know essentially find art. Well, let me ask you this: Are you still trying to find love? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm trying because I, that trying sounds forced, but I'm I'm definitely open to it. I'm not. I don't have any restraints or 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 like yo. I need to take a break um, because like I was mentally prepared to win or lose going in, and like I'm I, I knew I was just gonna kind of give it my all, you know, and then live with the results. Uh, because when you've done when you've done emotional work, you kind of know that you're not gonna be for everybody. And um, so I was okay with that. So um, coming back, I didn't. I don't necessarily need to take, you know, a hiatus from dating. But um, some natural like life experiences happened. When I came back, my mom had to have open heart surgery, which we knew was going to happen soon after I got back. And I'm an only child, so I had to move back in, in, in my mom's house for six weeks, take care of her, not going anywhere, trying to keep her away from COVID. So I had to do that, and then. The holidays come and I, I'm a lot of time with my son. So I just had to have a whole lot of time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, well, is your, everything okay with your mom? Yeah, she's good. I just, uh, I just, <laughs> I just gave her her car back last week. <laughs> so she can drive, but I don't really still don't want to go anywhere. She hadn't got her vaccine yet. Cause she's, my mom's in her seventies. Uh, but she's doing great. Um, she's ready to start kind of like rehab, just kind of build up uh, her lung capacity and all that, but she's good. Mm -hmm. she's, she's pretty independent. She's I'm back at my house and she, she's good. Come through mom. Hey now. Yeah. We have a, a question from uh, one of our viewers and she said, okay, so on February 11th or Valentine's Day weekend while in ATL, please take Alexis. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. That's <laughs> Man, y'all don't miss nothing, boy. <laughs> y'all don't miss nothing. Y'all don't miss nothing. Um, I will be in Atlanta hosting an event at Whiskey mm -hmm. Memphis on February 11th. Um, shout out to my boy Cecil Cross, who's one of the promoters there. And then I think I'm doing something with Jimmy Jones from season two on Friday. Okay. And I've got a bunch of friends. Ashima, um, Alexis, uh, London. Um, Shay says she's coming out. So hopefully a lot of the cast can come out. Um, but uh, as of right now, you know, I don't have any immediate plans with Alexis uh, one on one. <laughs> now, what do you feel was the greatest lesson from the show? Uh, you know what? Just to be authentic. Just mm -hmm. be authentic. And then even if you get prejudged or misunderstood, if you continue that long enough, it'll it'll show itself. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'm glad you mentioned that. Because that was one thing that we did want to ask you when you were being referred to as a narcissist. And I'm like, seeing this guy on camera, I'm like, that's the furthest that thing from it. Like, I, he doesn't give me narcissist tendencies. And I can tell that that kind of hurts your feelings. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, how do you deal with things like that when people just essentially already judge you just based off of how you look? I mean, I think we all get judged. So I'm kind of used to it. I just never was, uh, I just never, like I said, I never heard my name associated with the word before like that. So it, it was definitely hurtful. Um, but you know, I've moved past it and I, I know my true self and true personality. And I'm for the most part, I think everybody has seen that. Um, so I'm good, you know. So um other than that, I think we all get judged, preconceived notions, stereotypes, mm -hmm. that's kind of the way of the world, and we'd like to for that to go away, but you know, it's difficult. So we just gotta navigate through it the best we can. I think you're doing a good job because all these people seem to see right through. They know that you're a great person. So, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Uh, and um, just just to let the ladies know, because we got some ladies who were saying, you know, Shay seems to be a better match for you. Like we we got matchmakers in the audience. Okay, here. From season one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but what what is it that you were looking for? What are some qualities in a woman that you were that would literally make you say, "This is the woman that I want to pursue." Uh. I I love a woman who's super confident. Um, I like an independent woman. I don't. I don't want um, a woman that's all about me because I think when you do that, because I'm just listening, because uh, I listen. Um, when you hear a woman who have done that, then later on in life they they have some resentment because they didn't get to live their life dreams and passions and wants because they put all themselves in their man or significant other. 
So uh, I definitely want someone who's passionate, passionate about what they do. Mm -hmm. um, love kids, love, love, you know, um, love the Lord and, you know, really want to get whatever, whatever out there is, is for us the best in life, whatever that is for you. Some people measure success differently, um, but someone who, who wants to do that and be a great teammate and be supportive. And, uh, you know, I like a woman with a little style and flair, a little swag too. Um, that likes, you know, doesn't take herself too serious, like to travel, things that stuff. Okay, okay. And is there anybody from your season uh, that you would say you would want to give a second chance to? Um, Second chance. Um, I don't know if I use the word second chance, but people that I wish I've gotten to know better, mm -hmm. that we're still cool. So, you, just, you know, this ne you never know. But uh, yeah. Um, I said Alice because me and Alice connection was late. Mm -hmm. um, me and Winter, we had a great first um, uh, mixer. Joy and I had a really good um, mixer um, in the beginning. None of that was shown. I mean, well, me and Winter, none of that was really shown either. Um, so I would say, I would say those ladies. Okay, all right. So what is next for you, Rashid? I mean. Like I said, you're a fan favorite. People are gravitating to you. They love you. I don't think they really want to see, um, they don't want to see you disappear like we have seen some people in the past. They, they want to know what's next. Well, it's funny you ask that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I am everybody, not everybody. Well, most people know that I'm in the car business. I own a, um, a concierge brokerage service for um, vehicles. And uh, I have my clothing line, Nelson Barquet Clothing. So I ha I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, pouring all my blood, sweat, and tears into that. I'm curating that as best I can. And then trying to manage all of the uh, the new um, attention and understand that people may want to hear from me. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what that looks like. Uh, I'm just kind of brainstorming on some stuff, but it's a lot. And that's what I'm trying to figure out now because I'm trying to be present for the people that mm -hmm. are rocking with me and because I, I really appreciate them. And I try to answer all yeah. the messages and DMs and stuff like that. But, you know, I got to still focus on, you know, what what puts food in the refrigerator so it's, it's a balance for me trying to you know do what i need to do socially and then do what i need to do to get to the bag but um i, I you know i was uh it's actually I, I just i filmed with uh winter today actually winter has a show on youtube called wine with winter and uh, me and her were talking and i was talking about maybe i don't know maybe thinking about doing some stuff some stuff on youtube maybe some some perspective um for myself and some others and maybe from from a guy's perspective and trying to decode what what we're saying and what we're not saying yeah. but you know right now I, i'm just kind of i'm brainstorming on it but um you know we'll see we'll see okay. well listen if you ever need help with that you have us here in the divas den yeah. you come back if you need help with production you got two of the greats here that will help you with you okay that's what's up. okay that's what's up. i like it <laughs> but ultimately do what is best for you. Um, I'm so glad you could make it onto the show. Like I said, Rashid, yeah. you're really dope. Um, as soon as I saw you on the screen, I was like, he just really seems like a good, humble guy. And you just stayed true to who you were throughout the entire season. And I love when people don't allow cameras to affect who they are. Um, yeah. So I am wishing you nothing but the best. Um, you know where we're at. So whenever you need help, come on back, honey. Come on back. Got you. Got you. Thank you. Thank you all so much. I want to thank everybody who's watching, all the people, like I said, has been rocking with me. Oh, yeah, one other thing. I do have, you know, my YouTube channel. It's called Car Guides, G-A-W-D-S. Um, you got the full season of Car Guides from season one. I had 10 episodes there. And um, we're editing and filming for my second season of Car Guides. Um, and I got a pretty cool, uh, I think my first episode is going to be really surprising, really good uh, uh, celebrity that we all know and love. So y'all look out for that. Hmm. You ain't gonna drop the name though? No. Okay. <laughs> no offense. All right, we just gotta watch. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rashid. It has been a pleasure. We really appreciate it. All right, y'all. Appreciate it. Continue success. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Bye.